So I was walking by to go into the bathroom here and something caught my eye right here in this grate. And I looked up, there was a quarter. Someone stuffed a quarter up in here. And I don't know why. You got a quarterback for staying here though. It's not like this quarter was from, you know, the 70s or 80s. Like someone put this up here recently. This is a 2022 quarter. Don't make any sense. But this hotel is not the best, but it was cheap and for the most part it looks clean. And the most important part is it has hot water. So I was able to get super, super hot shower. Well, I think we're all packed up to go. I don't think we're going to make it to any of the overlooks by sunrise. I just kept hitting my alarm this morning. As usual, we'll just, we're going to wing it and see where we get to when we get to it. couldn't have worked out any better so this range right here i was following all the way in so i was coming all the way in i was like man i gotta find a spot to pull over to get that and i came up by the the park sign here and sure enough it's a pullover there's a nice pullover where i can get a good shot right here and then the sunset coming up. This is incredible right now. Shooting 16 by 9. It's probably not going to come out good, but ah, it's so cool. And look at that little peak at the top there. Hitting the sun. The sun's just barely touching it. The sunrise is crazy. really happy with some of these shots so what I did is I zoomed in right here and got some really tight layer shots so if I zoom in a little here you'll see how it kind of layers out and that sun hitting everything that just looks so damn cool wow the bugs here are really bad I don't know if you guys can see them but I'm trying to get a wide 16 by 9 shot here of the of the entire landscape 
and kind of frame it with the black. So these peaks here are kind of silhouetted with those tree, that tree line down there. And then the layers behind it and then getting some of the grass in the foreground. Might have to move over a little bit. I'm just absolutely blown away. There's no way that the video is doing this justice at all. So I just got into Canyonlands and uh, I'm already blown away. That sunrise at uh, Island in the Sky Visitor Center, unreal. The amount of like layers and everything you can see. Oh my gosh, so cool. I didn't think I was gonna make it here on time. I left uh, uh, Green River um, at like 6.30 maybe. And I was like, ah, it's not, I'm not gonna make it. But right now I'm gonna head to uh, Mesa Arch and uh, see that real quick. Spots up here. Actually, there's a lot. There's just a lot of people here. Pretty sure this trail is just a tiny loop, and it's not even a mile. I think it should make a pretty, pretty easy hike. Boy, that sun is really putting a line through the camera. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but, but it seemed like no audio was captured here. But I was walking around Mesa Arch, had a nice little glow on the top of it, which made it look really cool. However, the photos made it look really kind of fake, but it was kind of crowded. I just, so I just kind of moseyed along, waited for the crowd to like kind of move and everything. I was finally able to get a wide shot of the entire arch, which you can see right here. And you can see the orange tint on the top of the arch from the sun. It makes it look kind of fake, but it looked cool in person. As soon as the crowds broke up a little bit more, I was able to get this tight shot that I'm pretty happy with. After I got those two shots, I walked along the right side of the arch and found this rock to climb on top of and just kind of looked above the arch and looked out and got some okay shots, nothing that I'm like super excited about but they are some pretty cool shots and just the view up there was awesome. Now I'm gonna head to White Rim Overlook Trail. All right, White Rim Overlook, 0.8 miles. overlook that way yo wow I keep saying yo and wow a lot this is incredible absolutely incredible trail continues down that way
back at the parking lot. These are awesome little picnic areas. And then there's a fire ring here. Well, I guess it's not a ring, it's a square. But they have a place where you could cook out. And then an amazing view over here. Seriously. Unreal. After eating and enjoying the shade and the view, I decided to head to the end of the park where I would check out Grand View Point. Just a heads up that if you're visiting Grand View Point, it is extremely busy and is one of the popular, one of the more popular spots to visit in the park. But it's a, it's a 180 degree viewpoint. It's incredible. However, I did not stay here very long, nor did I take any photos of this area, but it was just, it was awesome to see. After I left Grand View Point, I started heading back and I got this shot right here of Candlestick Tower. Pretty happy with this photo. It's like peeking through the trees. And I literally stopped on the side of the road and took three steps out of the car and got this shot. So I'm pretty happy with it, mainly because I didn't have to work for it, but it was an awesome little spot and view. Yeah, our lips chapter right out there. So dry out. Um, I was gonna head out, but I'm in, I'm going to stay for sunset. The Green River Overlook and watch the sunset over there. I did technically kind of make it for sunrise, but not technically. I got here like as it was coming up and I wasn't like in the park, I was right by the visitor center. So I decided I'm gonna stay and we'll probably end the video there. Once I got to Green River and kind of got a, my spot set up, I think I got one of my favorite photos while visiting Canyonlands even after all the sunrise photos. And it's this shot right here. It just looks so cool to me. I love the texture, the detail, the depth. And then I decided to zoom in a little bit for a little more abstract feel. And this is just, I don't know. This gives me a really cool feeling of like floating islands, which is why I think they call it Island in the Sky. Like that. The sky is so bright. Oh. So bright. You can't get any video or photos because it just blows it out. There we go. Try that. Nope. Now I'm dark. So. Yeah. I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite part is. If you haven't been to Canyonlands, do it immediately. Amazing, amazing park. Been here almost 12 hours now. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.